Caitlin. Today we're doing a Christmas wish list video where I'm gonna give you guys basically a bunch of gift ideas and hopefully this can give you guys inspiration on what to ask for Christmas, what to get someone for Christmas. The price range of this video is all over the place so I highly suggest you just listen all the way through and just try to find things because I go really all over the place. We're gonna get into this. I don't wanna make this intro any longer. There's so many different types of clothes to give people for Christmas and the number one thing I highly recommend is a leather jacket. I think it's the perfect Christmas gift, especially if it's a really nice high-end one. Cute workout sets. I feel like you can't go wrong with this, especially really cute ones from like Gymshark or Set Active. Another super trendy thing at the moment is to get anything from Skims, which is Kim Kardashian's clothing loungewear brand. I don't know. An embroidered hoodie or crew neck is also a really nice idea. Either it be a nice cute design or it could be personalized as well. The Aritzia Melinda pants, I've heard so many good things about these leather pants and I would love to receive these. Puffer jackets have been everywhere and I feel like that's another good gift idea when it comes to Christmas and especially when it's cold outside. I feel like puffer jackets come from all different price ranges but if you wanna invest in a nicer, more expensive one, I feel like the North Face puffer jackets or the vests are also really trendy. Also really good jackets at the moment to have. Levi 501s are also a really nice good pair of denim jeans to have and then also Dickies pants I've been seeing a lot recently. They've been trending a bit on Pinterest. They're like men's work pants that you can literally buy on Amazon. People will flip over the waistband and style them in really cute ways. Zip up hoodies I feel like are such a must. I have a brown zip up hoodie I literally got on Amazon for like 15 or 20 bucks and I wear it all the time. A loungewear set is also a really good gift idea. Comfy sweaters are a must in the winter time. They come in so many different price ranges and if you really want to be price friendly I feel like thrifting comfy sweaters really good idea as well. The one I'm wearing is from Princess Polly if you're wondering. Yoga pants or leggings, especially the airy crossover leggings I've been seeing trend a lot on TikTok. Frankie's bikini sets are definitely more of a luxurious swim brand. If you do live in a warmer area and you don't really get a cold winter, I feel like this is just another easy idea. And then another gift idea is just getting one from Triangle, which is pretty much the same thing as Frankie's bikinis, but they're a tiny bit more cheaper, but once again, really high end. And then an even cheaper one from Triangle Bikinis is Black Bow Swim. I have so many bikinis from them and I'm absolutely obsessed and they go on sales too, especially in the winter time because no one's really buying bikinis. Satin dresses have been trending a lot recently. I know Princess Polly and Zara sell a ton. Sweater vests are so popular recently and I feel like that's also a really good gift idea. If you're looking for really good high quality sweatpants, I've heard really good things about Aritzia sweatpants and they're so cute as well. And then lastly on the list is Lululemon clothes. I know a lot of people like Lululemon clothes, but it's a little bit more expensive, which makes it a really good gift idea, I feel like. For accessories, a really good gift idea is jewelry. I feel like you cannot go wrong with jewelry. And that also brings us into today's sponsor of this video, which is Ana Luisa. Their stuff is such high quality and you can get it at such a great price, I feel like, as well. And I have three pieces from them that I want to show you guys today. First thing I'm actually wearing is a ring from them. It's gold and has this really beautiful stone in the middle. I just love the simplicity of it. And then also the earrings I'm wearing are from Ana Luisa. And I love these earrings so much. I literally shower and sleep in them. They are just so comfortable to wear and they don't tarnish and then also my necklace you can't really see it but it's this dainty little safety pin necklace and it's got diamonds on it as well I just love 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 how this looks I also just have to talk about the packaging they come in these really nice high quality fabric pouches and they like open and close with a magnet I just love it when brands do this especially when they're like reusable because you can just store your jewelry in it I highly recommend checking out Ana Luisa for the holiday shopping they're currently running their biggest sale of the year it is buy one get one 60% off don't miss it it is such a steal and then also use my link it'll be on the screen right now and also linked right down below in the description box highly recommend you go check them out I know you guys will love their jewelry and it's just such a good gift idea next up going along with jewelry is getting a jewelry box and this is another one of those things where you kind of forget to get yourself in a sense if you like need one and then like you get it as a gift and you like really appreciate it and never knew how much you needed it sunglasses are also a really nice inexpensive gift to get someone. Sheer tights have been trending a bit recently and I just recently got myself a pair and I feel like this is also a really good cheap gift idea. Blue light glasses are really important especially with how much we spend time on our laptops, phones, and computers. I feel like a nice scarf is a really good gift idea. Wildflower cases or a case to buy. Especially with the case to buy stuff you can actually personalize phone cases on there as well like mine says my name Kate. I've also seen people make like personal collages on these phone cases. Then to go along with the phone case I also have phone charms on the list. 
because there's so many trendy ones on like Etsy and you can also support a small business while doing that. Fuzzy socks are such an easy gift idea. Like I'm wearing my Christmas socks right now. <laughs> These little handbags and purses have been trending a lot recently. I have three of them and I wear them all the time. Workout equipment is such a good gift idea. I feel like this technically counts as like an accessory so I am putting it in this category. And it can be anything from like workout bands or it could be like a yoga mat. Plants. I feel like you cannot go wrong with plants like a little succulent But then to also go along with plants you could also get a plant holder and you can even do like a two-in-one Like get someone a really nice flower pot and then like a matching flower plant to put with it Another idea is getting a cute rug for your room There's so many like trendy ones that small businesses make on Etsy a galaxy light is also a really cool gift idea My galaxy light is from Amazon and I actually got it for Christmas last year They are like projectors that just completely transform your room new pillows are also a really good gift idea. It can either be a decorative pillow or you could get someone like a full-on just normal sleeping pillow for Christmas. Wall vines can be a really cute gift. I have a few of them in my room. Then to go along with that, I feel like LED lights are really, really cool. If you're wondering where mine are from in the back, you can kind of see both of them. They are from Govi. I got these off Amazon and I've actually worked with Govi before. Cute little candles, especially like the cube ones or like just the rainbow, like really trendy ones. I'm showing them on the side of the screen right now. Pastel crates for your room. I feel like they're so trendy and so cute and I have some of my own and I feel like it's a good gift idea. The new bed set, like a whole matching, like whole set type thing. A collage kit is also another good gift idea. I have one from Tezza and they just have like really nice high quality prints, but I know you can actually make these yourself. I feel like everyone needs a light up mirror on their desk, especially like to do your makeup in or just like skincare or just really anything. A weighted blanket. I don't have one myself, but I know a lot of people really like them and I've just heard really positive experiences with them. I've been seeing this Dior lip oil literally everywhere all over TikTok. Any Charlotte Tilbury makeup has been trending a lot recently, especially like the liquid bronzer and the highlight. And then also their Pillow Talk liner or something like that. It's like their most popular like lip product set. I've heard so many good things about it and I'm definitely on the lookout for getting it for myself. Perfume is also a really good gift idea like the Ariana Grande one or the Marc Jacobs like flower daisy one. Glossy makeup, I feel like it's such a good gift idea, especially if you're into like natural makeup. And I know they also sell like a beauty bag and I feel like that's also a really good gift idea if your friend or if you yourself loves makeup and want something to like hold your makeup in. I've been seeing rare beauty makeup everywhere. It's like Selena Gomez's beauty line and I've heard really good things about it. A new brush set. I feel like it's one of those things where you don't really think to buy it for yourself in the moment but then like you receive it for Christmas and like you're so thankful and blessed. And then also a beauty blender. It's like such a good simple gift idea especially as like a stocking stuffer. High end makeup is also a really good gift idea it's definitely more on the pricier side but this could be like really fun if you're trying to like treat someone with maybe like Dior or Chanel Sephora or Ulta gift sets are such like underrated Christmas gifts I feel like they're like these makeup or skincare sets that just like come packaged with all types of different things so I feel like that's such a good gift idea for someone who really likes makeup New Balance 550s have been trending a lot recently and I actually got myself a pair not too long ago and I feel like this is such a good gift idea. I've been seeing Ugg slippers as well and I feel like this is also a really good gift idea. And when sneakers are also a little bit more of a pricier gift if your friend really likes sneakers or if you've been like in the need to ask for some type of hype sneaker, I don't know. Knee high black boots are such a staple during the winter time and they never go out of style and I feel like this is such a good opportunity to ask for them. Brown Converse have been trending a lot recently as well and this is also a really good gift idea and then to go along with Converse the white platform ones have been trending a lot recently too. Doc Martens are also a really good gift idea once again more on the pricier kind of range. White boots are also a really good staple I feel like you can't go wrong with these. I've been seeing loafers trend a bit recently especially like the penny loafers I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. I've heard really good things about Nike blazers and a lot of people like them so that's another good gift idea. Air Force Ones are also a really good gift idea. If you don't have a pair and want your own first pair this is also a really good time to ask or if you know someone that like needs a new pair you could gift them a new pair for Christmas black booties are such a staple I wear mine all the time in the winter Nike dunk lows are also a really good staple it's kind of an expensive shoe so I don't know it's another good gift idea and thought I should throw it in there cowgirl boots have been trending a lot recently black heels are such a staple especially like the really strappy ones I've been seeing them a lot and I just feel like they match with everything I know princess Polly has a lot of cute ones 
face roller is such a good gift idea, especially if your friend or if you yourself loves to do skincare. I feel like a nice robe is also a really good luxurious kind of self-caring gift to get someone. A lush bath kit or bath bombs, I feel like you can't go wrong with them. If you like to journal, I feel like the five minute journal is a really good gift idea. I personally really, really want this. Since I don't have it, I can't really speak on what it is, but I know it's just like a personal like five minute journal I think you do every single day. To go along with that, cute stationery is also a really good idea. New journals or notebooks. Then to go along with that, pretty highlighters to pair along with like bullet journaling. A new planner is such a good idea to get someone for Christmas, especially since right after Christmas is New Year's. And I feel like to go along with a planner, a to-do list is also a really good idea. A satin sleep set is such a good like self-care kind of gift. It makes you feel so luxurious. Like to pair the satin sleep set with like some bath bombs, I feel like it's such a good gift idea. A face mask is also a really good inexpensive gift to get someone. A gua sha, I've been seeing them a lot on TikTok recently. A skincare mini fridge, I feel like it's such a good gift idea too, especially if you know someone who really, really likes skincare. I feel like with this past year, reading has been a lot more popular. I just been seeing so many more people talk about like books that they've been reading and stuff like that. So I feel like getting someone a book for Christmas would be really cool and like pair a bookmark along with it as well. A cute water bottle is also a really good gift idea. It motivates you to drink more water. And I've also seen really cute ones off Amazon where like they have reminders throughout the day like for when you should drink your water. Another thing is also getting someone nice chocolates. This is also kind of an inexpensive thing. So many chocolate kind of brands have so many cute Christmas packaging. I feel like it makes such a good gift. I've heard so many good things about Olaplex hair products and I personally want to try it out for myself or if you currently use Olaplex and just need more of it, you could easily ask for that for Christmas I feel like. A curling iron or a flat iron. Flower hair clips have been trending recently and I feel like it's such a good like stocking stuffer gift. The claw clips have also been trending a lot recently. I would highly recommend them. A nice hair scarf could also be a really good gift idea. This section is definitely going to be a little bit more expensive because we're dealing with technology here. First up is like such an easy like basic one which is a new phone. These cute little aesthetic keyboards I've been seeing a lot recently and I don't know I feel like this is such a good gift idea to ask for Christmas or to give someone for Christmas. A film camera is such a good idea. I would honestly love to receive a film camera for Christmas. A disposable camera is also a really good idea to go along here. There's like no commitment tied to it. Polaroid camera is also a really good idea. As you can see I use my Polaroid camera right behind me. And then also if you don't have a Polaroid camera or if you don't want to like buy them new film, I feel like these little phone Polaroid printers, it's a really nice kind of expensive gift to get someone. Speakers are also a really good gift idea. The JBL speakers are really good. I highly recommend them. I feel like you can't go wrong getting someone like a new charger or a new MacBook charger. Milk frother is also a really good gift idea. It's like a cool tech thing to use so that's why I'm putting it in this section. An editing system can also be a really good gift idea like gifting someone Final Cut Pro or like a Adobe Premiere Pro. Camera or filming equipment is also such a good gift idea, especially if you know someone who wants to start a YouTube channel. You can get someone a nice camera. I highly recommend the camera that I use, which is a Canon G7X Mark II. And I feel like film equipment is also a really good idea, like a tripod or like a ring light. Gaming console, definitely a lot more pricey, but you know, you can get someone like an Xbox or a PlayStation. And then to go along with that gaming console, get someone some video games. An electric lighter is a really good gift idea. I've been seeing these like candle lighters and I feel like this is a really good gift idea because it's one of those things once again where you don't think to buy it for yourself in the moment but then you receive it on Christmas and you're like so thankful and use it all the time. An iPad is also a really good Christmas gift. Once again definitely more on the pricier side and then just to finish up all the Apple stuff I'm also going to say a MacBook or a new laptop and then also AirPods. I love my AirPods and then lastly an Apple Watch especially if you know someone who's into fitness. This is all the miscellaneous stuff that I couldn't find a category for, but I would stick through this because we're gonna go all over the place, especially with prices and types of items. First off, I'm gonna say Chamberlain Coffee. Everyone, I feel like, loves Emma Chamberlain and her coffee is personally really good. I've tried it myself. And then to go along with Emma Chamberlain's coffee, get them Emma Chamberlain coffee merch. I know she has like a really cute tote bag and you can also get someone like an Emma Chamberlain coffee mug. Anything personalized, I feel like makes such a good gift, whether that be jewelry, a sweatshirt, a 
bag, a journal that says their name. I would not underestimate memberships as a good gift idea, like a subscription to Hulu, Netflix, Spotify music subscription, or Apple music. Reusable straws are also a really good, inexpensive, environment-friendly gift to get someone. An espresso machine is a little bit more on the pricier side, but I love coffee, so I know if anyone else loves coffee, they would love to receive one. Concert tickets are such a good Christmas gift, I feel like. It's like such a cool surprise, and like you're spending money on like a really nice experience, and then to go along with concert tickets, I'm just gonna say like any type of experience. Whether that be like skydiving, or like top golf, a beach vacation, a nail kit on Amazon, I feel like it's such a good gift, especially if you know someone who loves to do their nails, whether that be acrylics, or just normal gel nails. I feel like it's also cheaper just to learn how to do your own nails, rather than like paying for acrylics. I would not underestimate card games as a really good gift idea, whether that be basic playing cards, or like that really trendy game recently, We're Not Really Strangers. I've heard so many good things about it. I feel like a skateboard is also a really good gift idea, or just to go along with that, really any sporting equipment. Gift cards are also a really good idea, especially if you don't know what the person wants and you just kind of want to get them something. Self-tanner is also a really good gift idea. It's super random. If you like to do art and would like to get new paints, I feel like you could easily ask for something like that for Christmas or if you know someone who loves to do art. And then to go along with that, I would say canvases. That is pretty much all of my gift ideas. I really hope this helped you guys out and I just want to also put in a disclaimer that Christmas is not just about materialistic items. This is just a video trying to help you guys come up with gift ideas for yourself or for other people. I think we all know the real reason for Christmas and I just don't want anyone to kind of forget that. Subscribe to my channel if you want to and there's definitely a lot more Christmas content coming soon and also follow me on Instagram. I would really really appreciate it and also thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. Remember to go check them out and use the link in my description box down below. It'll be on the screen once again. Highly recommend checking them out. If you did make it up to this point, comment down below the secret emoji. I like to see who's watching up to the end of my videos and I will see you guys all next week. Bye!